The California drift gillnet fishery is one of the deadly, dirty secrets that we have off the coast here. We literally have a fishing technology that is ecologically devastating to the marine life off the coast. The way you fish with a drift gillnet fishery is you allow the net to drift in the water for approximately 24 hours and then you pull it up. And unfortunately, everything that gets caught in it is mostly dead. We were catching 2,200 tons of swordfish 30 years ago. Today, this fishery is only catching about 60 tons. The Environmental Protection Agency now warns women and children not to eat swordfish and shark because of the high levels of mercury. So we're devastating the oceans to catch a species that's poisonous for us to eat and has very little economic value. It costs more, almost as much to catch the fish as, as the value of the fish once we sell it. In total, over the last 10 years, about a thousand whales and dolphins have been killed. Leatherback sea turtles, a critically endangered species, is being taken in this fishery who's been on the planet for 100 million years, but we are down to the last 2,000, 2,500 females left in the world of Pacific leatherback sea turtles and may not survive the next 20 years if we continue to do what we're doing to the ocean. If you think about the Golden Gate Bridge and the two major spans that hold it up, a drift gill net stretches beyond both ends of that middle of the bridge. They're over a mile long and they would stretch from the floor of the bridge all the way to the water, 200 feet down. So we have these giant nets, these curtains of death that we're placing out there every year, every day, and allowing um, the oceans to be basically wiped out of fish. Drift gill nets are set overnight and left to soak. And they are so devastating that the United Nations banned this fishery on the high seas in the 1990s. Oregon and Washington state along the California coast has banned this fishery, but we still have it occurring here off the west coast of California. Well, the fishing industry and the Pacific Fisheries Management Council have been pushing to actually re-engage this fishery and try to get it going at, at a higher level, basically catching more fish. And we recently asked the state legislature to hold hearings on this, and they are now considering ways to phase out this fishery but we're very early in this process. Turtle Island Restoration Network, or seaturtles.org, has been involved for more than 25 years in trying to reform fisheries so that our oceans stay healthy. We're based out here in West Marin County, and um, we have offices in Texas and Costa Rica. We're an international organization. We're small, but the way that we are effective is we get people involved. So we have pro bono attorneys who take our cases to court for us. We have teachers who have their students writing to legislators, drawing pictures of, of leatherback sea turtles and drift gill nets and sending them to their senators. We have uh, pro bono development people who are designing our materials, our brochures, et cetera. Everyone gets involved. That's how we make a difference. And we all need to become ocean activists and protect three quarters of the planet, which is ocean. We need to let our state legislators know that this fishery's time has come and gone. Even if you don't eat swordfish, if it's on the menu at your restaurant, let the chef know it shouldn't be. Let them know that you really want them to be part of the sustainability movement that allows future generations to enjoy whales and dolphins, as I did growing up and as my kids did, but as I worry that my grandchildren um, are not going to get to witness these incredible species that make our planet so wonderful.